In the year 2001 AD, the United States government constructed an experimental island in response to the National Nanotechnology Initiative, NNI. They named it Nanotechnology Island, and it was there that they assembled the finest American analytical minds from every field, business, government, and education, to form a united research project committed to unlocking the untapped potential of nanotechnology. With unlimited access to the world's most advanced scientific technology and a massive amount of government funds, advances in nanotechnology occurred at a startling rate over a short span of time. Twenty years passed. Concepts and machines that were considered fantasy in the 20th century were one by one becoming a reality. These new technologies were made available to the general public, causing drastic improvements in lifestyle on a global scale. Then, one day, the main computer regulating all the island's nanomachines suddenly went out of control. Every nanomachine on the island malfunctioned, from those in the research labs to the ID nanos embedded in the bodies of the island's residents for identification purposes. Thus occurred the tragic birth of the Orgamex, living mechanical organisms whose bodies are comprised entirely of microscopic machines from the molecular level on up. Someone explain it to me, now! The island's main computer went berserk, sir. As a result, the nanomachines injected into the island residents' bodies have malfunctioned. You mean a bunch of microscopic machines caused this? It is highly probable that the nanomachine's self-replicating ability is to blame. Self-replicating ability? Yes, well, you see, they have the ability to duplicate themselves using the iron particles found in human blood. This keeps a fixed volume of nanomachines inside a given body. So, what? They'll just keep replicating indefinitely? Uh, correct, sir. Building new nanomachines from blood iron over and over again, until they can unite with one another to form Orgamex. Or so I assume. Good God. How do we stop them? Actually, shutting down the main computer will halt all nanomachine activity. Michelle Baker, a scientist familiar with the workings of the main computer, has already been dispatched to the island. Baker? Which unit will be her escort? Sir, uh, she said that a convoy would only increase the chance of casualties, and decided to go in alone. What? The unit at the front line has nearly been wiped out. What about the cyborg militant unit? I've lost all communication with them as well. I can't find their signal. Are you telling me they might have been destroyed too? General Raymond, sir, if we don't stop them now, they'll breach the mainland. Yes, Jake. Get Jake here, now! Jake? But sir, he was executed. No. 
He's still alive. Prepper Chopper on the double! He's the only one who can clean up this mess. So, how are you? How do you feel? What's wrong? Did you forget how to speak? I was in cold sleep for seven years. My body won't do what I want it to. <laughs> a cyborg militant like yourself has nothing to worry about. Give it a little time and you'll be fine. I sure hope so. Even though it was war, you slaughtered tens of thousands, including civilians. It was all I could do to save you from execution. I had no choice. Yes, I owe you for that. But aren't you putting your career in jeopardy? If everyone thinks I'm dead and I make a surprise appearance on the battlefield? Don't worry about that. If your talents can save our country from this national threat, no one will say a word. General Raymond, sir. We'll be arriving at the front line shortly. Here, use this. Uh, what is this? It's a new type of weapon we call a plasma blade. Using this, you'll be able to destroy anything down to the molecular level. We've sent a scientist to the island to disable the main computer. Your mission is to protect her at all costs and assist her in shutting it down. We've arrived, sir. Okay, put her down. This is close enough. Still as crazy as ever. Jake, I'm counting on you. Long time no see, Jake. Keith. I knew you'd be here. Welcome back. I heard a report that the entire unit had been destroyed. Check me out. I've strengthened my body with the most advanced enhancements technology has to offer. You think a cyborg militant as powerful as me would take the big dirt nap easily? You're no match for me anymore, Jake. Time stopped for you seven years ago. You wanna take me on? Out of my way. My business isn't with you. No business with me! Are you friggin' joking? <laughs> We've got a seven-year-old score to settle. Right here! Right now! Damn you! Stay out of my way. Why? Why, you bastard? Think you can just blow me off like that? Your arrogance! Pisses me off!
you're the one, right? The scientist the military sent here. Yes, I am. And you are? I've been sent to assist you. This is General Raymond's doing, isn't it? I can't trust him for a second. Go back where you came from. I have my orders, ma'am. Genocide hero. Stop following me! My mission is to protect you. Well, I don't need your protection. I can shut the main computer down on my own. Now leave me alone. Get out! How can I possibly trust someone who indiscriminately kills women and children? People's lives are at stake. I've got no time for small talk. A lot of security locks to hack through. This is gonna take some time. What the? I'm getting unstable power fluctuations from this terminal. Some trouble must have occurred at the power plant. The power plant, huh? You stay here. Pretty tough customer, taking down a beast like that. Who are you? We'll get to formalities in a minute. First, you'd better come inside. This way, this way. Ugh. They can't get us in here. What exactly are you doing down here? What am I doing? This is my home. I live here, that's what. You actually live in this dump? What are you, blind? This isn't trash. I've repaired and rebuilt everything you see here. Well, they are a bit dirty because I borrowed them from the power plant. The power plant? Yes, the power plant. You see, this island uses nanomachines to break down its garbage. They trap the heat given off by their activity in order to generate electricity. Man, that garbage dump over there is like a treasure trove. Where is it located? You've got business there? Hmm. Can you make sure to get rid of all the monsters that have taken over the place? Their power fluxes are hindering my work. I'll make that my top priority. Well, the elevators are out of service, so you'll have to use the stairs. Go through the next door over and climb up to the surface. Look for the entrance to the power plant nearby. You got it? your help. <coughs> what the hell happened to you? If you're gonna kill me, just go ahead and do it. I'll be an Orgamek in a little while anyway. What? Have you had nanomachine injections? No. I've never lived on this island. Then how? By breathing. The nanomachines are like an airborne virus. No one told me that. Did you notice the unnatural erosion on the island's roads and buildings? It's the hallmark of airborne nanomachines. They've been eating the iron particles out of those structures. That means even people beyond the island will be... Yes. It's only a matter of time. Every Orgamech has an electric wave relay system. When they migrate, their range of activity increases automatically. <coughs> It looks like you'll have to kill me soon. If only those ampules hadn't broken. Ampules? Yes. They contain a drug that suppresses the nanomachine's ability to self-replicate. Where exactly are these ampules? If any were left, believe me, 
This disaster would be over already. Wait! The nanomachine creation lab. The factory is equipped for emergencies. Doubles of everything should be stored there. It's useless. We're too late. You can't give up. You're the only one who can disable the main computer. But I... I'll say it again. Don't give up. I'm here to protect you. stashed in here too? I thought I smashed them all. What are you saying? <laughs> That's none of your business. Right. Then get out of my way. My only business concerns these ampules. Come on, Jake. Give it up! Don't you hate me for what I did to you? After all, I'm the reason seven years of your life got iced. The past doesn't matter. It's true I killed the most soldiers on the battlefield. But I'm not sure about the civilian casualties. Civilian or not, I killed more humans than you ever did! Earlier, I let you off easy so you'd be trapped on this island. This time, I'm not holding back! Prepare yourself! Looks like I made it back in time. Are you all right? Yes, I think so. My name's Michelle Baker. I'm... Jake Warren, I know. Your infamous reputation precedes you. Have you hacked the locks? No, I can't access the main computer from here. The computer's defense grid has been activated, and it looks like the island's network has been cut off. And I only had one more to go to unlock it completely. Isn't there some other way to access it? No. Once the defense grid is up, it's hopeless. There's nothing I can do at this point. Come on, think through it again. You're the only one who can pull this off. <sighs> if only my father were here. Huh? <gasps> Over there! That's an army chopper. Strange. I wasn't told they'd be sending assistance. Forget about the helicopter. The satellite. Of course, the satellite! Satellite? What satellite? There's a satellite array in that complex. I should be able to access the main computer via the satellite antenna. Hurry! We've got to get to where that helicopter's landed. Leave it to me. You go on ahead. But... Just go. Be careful, Jake. <laughs> this is it. With this control panel, I can reposition the satellite antennas. You know, the man who invented self-replicating nanomachines is my father. Huh? For years, he dreamed of it. Doing his part to help propel mankind into the future, he said. Dad was familiar with every field of modern science. 
With the help of a huge government subsidy, he turned his dream into a reality on this island. I should have known the military was behind it. Military? Yeah. The Orgamex are strategic weapons. Terrible weapons, used to destroy the enemy without the risk of using military force. Once he found out the truth, he was never seen again. But... it doesn't make sense. Why would they test a weapon like that on the Islanders? I suppose that the main computer went haywire and rewrote the control program for all of the residents' internal ID nanomachines. That would be considered a justifiable error. That's horrible. So what else is new? Every invention is destined to become a tool of human destruction in the end. As long as people continue fighting each other, there will always be a need for weapons. Well, that's a given. But... That's why I believe there are boundaries that must never be crossed by those who handle the weapons. Ideally, yes. But unfortunately, people aren't that strong. I want to believe they are. No, I must believe it. It's the last human quality that a living weapon like myself can hold on to. Here they come again. And that should do it. You've gone far enough. You bastard! Let go of me! What the hell do you think you're doing? Your work is done here. We'll take care of the rest. That chopper... that was... Exactly the kind of performance I expected from the daughter of a brilliant scientist. You sure make it look easy. Hacking through security locks, we couldn't come close to disabling. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Control of the nano-weapon is finally in my hands. <laughs> What are you talking about? Thank you for all your efforts, Jake. Keith! Let go of me! He's a genocide hero. Hostages won't help you. He kills without mercy. You don't know him as well as I do. Isn't that right, Keith? Dispose of him the same way you did his buddies. You killed them! You... Allow me to apologize. I took it upon myself to read your memory banks. A are you? So, the Orgomex has finally fallen into Raymond's hands. Hmm. This is the worst possible situation. This jeopardizes the world, not just this island. In anticipation of something like this, I changed and encoded my password into the main computer's security locks. I've hidden here and watched the military's every step. If you had the password, why didn't you just shut down the main computer when it malfunctioned? I couldn't predict a malfunction of this extent. When it activated the self-defense system, it invalidated my password. I wanted to do something. If I had, my daughter's life wouldn't be in danger right now. But the situation is more serious than you can imagine. You've seen the miserable state this island is in, and that was due to a failed computer. Just imagine this kind of damage being inflicted on an international scale. Where is the main computer located? 
Why? What are you going to do? I don't care who you are. It's impossible. Just tell me where it is. I promise I'll protect your daughter. The main computer is at the center of the island's research building complex. Here. This will help you get over the sewer wall and into the complex. Leave the rest to me. How did it feel to be sliced in half by me? You missed my vitals on purpose, didn't you? Of course. What, did you think that was enough to make up for my humiliation when you killed me? Now I'm going to beat you on a level playing field. That doesn't sound like something a mass murderer would say. Idiot! You still think you're a human, don't you? If I didn't, I'd be nothing more than a weapon of mass destruction. After all of those people we murdered, tell me, just how are we human? You crossed a line. That's why I put you out of commission. <laughs> A weapon's worth is measured by power. I hate myself for losing to someone as soft as you. This is where it ends. I've removed my final limiter. No one can beat me now. I'll cut you to pieces. That should erase the trauma of what you did to me! So this is the main computer. Let this be the end of it! You beat Keith even after he'd removed his final limiter. Clearly I've underestimated your strength. This was your plan all along, wasn't it? To have me fight him? Correct. He agreed to work for me only if I would arrange a battle between the two of you. What the hell are you plotting, General? Orgamex are the next generation, Jake. They're better than you. You cyborgs have become obsolete. So that's why you used Keith? To destroy the entire unit? No, not quite. The most powerful cyborg unit was obliterated by the Orgamex. The public already knows that. You use them to demonstrate to the whole world the strength of the Orgamex. Yes, and now I control them. And with this power, I will force all those before me to bend to my will. The whole planet at my fingertips. You took advantage of the malfunction, using it to hide your intentions. You psychopath. I didn't take advantage of anything. Ha. Did you really think a mere computer malfunction would lead to such perfect results? What? 
So you were behind that too? It was within my authority to intentionally corrupt the main computer. But having done so, a scientist was needed to control the machine's self-defense system. <laughs> Everything has gone according to my plan. Whether it ended with finishing Keith off or finishing you off, that part didn't matter either way. Because of you, the lives of so many innocent and decent people were... I have no further use for this woman <laughs> either. A cyborg militant is worthless compared to Orgamex! You're no exception, Jake! And now you die! A useless genocide hero! Being a genocide hero is fine by me, and your corpse will become a part of my legend. General. Help me. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. This looks bad. We got to get out of here. Don't just stand there, get in! Daddy? There'll be time to talk later. Let's go! Where did this car come from? I've had this baby for a long time. Kept her running like a dream, too. Just sit back and relax. It's your driving that worries me, not your maintenance skills. Let me show you a few tricks. <laughs> so, what do you think, huh? Not too shabby for an old guy. <laughs> I forgot to mention one thing. Ah, uh, what's that? <laughs> Bridge up ahead? It's gone.
Long time no see, Jake.